over the past weekend, Twitter completely, like, itself. Uh, literally, because I have they, yet to get the rate limit exceeded message. Oh, I did. And a bunch of people did, especially if you were like on TweetDeck. They, all right. So apparently Twitter was literally DDoSing itself. It was sending requests to itself at, over and over and over again. They screwed up every nice. thing. And here comes and Elon saying, yeah, the AI are scraping our nice. we got to limit Twitter, so you can only see 600 tweets unless you pay me. Then you can see 6,000. And every, that means, effectively, every, everything stopped working on Twitter on Saturday. And I'm sure, of those 600 tweets, some of those were ads, which, their ad part were probably... Well, magically, if you give Elon $8, it'll work again. Yeah. Um, except it didn't. Uh, tweet deck got completely nice. f***ed over. They announced they're releasing a new tweet deck only for people who pay Elon, and it doesn't do half of what the old tweet deck used to do, especially for brand managers, and you can't do multiple accounts on the new tweet deck, and uh, it's 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 a it's a literally non-starter. Well, in the meanwhile... Pay for less than you have for free. Yes, that, is, that has been the Elon way. But wait, Blue Sky starts opening up uh, more invites, and I've been having a ball over on Blue Sky because if if you even come near that place with any sort of Nazi energy, they just they just take a hammer to your nuts and just beat on them. I just it's like they, it goes right through the internet too. They just reach out. There's a hammer comes right out of your screen. It starts wailing on your knife. It's 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 foolala. amazing. Um, is it run by her? Is it run by Harrison Ford? <laughs> it would be beautiful, but no. Um, and then today that would be fun if if Harrison Ford decided I'm done with this acting thing. I'm just going to moderate a social media platform. <laughs> that would be fascinating. And then today, Mark Zuck, the Zuck himself. Uh, they released their own Twitter clone called Threads. Really inspired name. And uh, it's tied to your Instagram account. So you could just, if you have Instagram, you go to it. I opened it up just to look at it. And um, it's terrible. Because there is no button to follow for the people you follow. There's no, like, followers list. There's no way. It's all algorithms. So the minute you open it up, it's just blasting all of these accounts at you, these these influencers and these brands. Nobody you follow. If you're trying to find anyone you follow in there, you have to just dig down. It's not chronological. It's just, it's like, how do you snipe that up? You have one job. Don't be Twitter. And you snipe it up. Instagram already, like, I, one of my two jobs is I do social media for Cat Rescue. And I am the primary point person for Instagram. And I'm already annoyed at how much they're pivoting to video because they want to be TikTok. Because I run the Instagram for a cat rescue. Hmm. Should be an incredibly easy job. Pictures of cats, internet. But we're getting less and less engagement because they are, they want everything to be reels now. And I'm like, listen, if people want to watch TikToks, they're going to go over to TikTok. They don't want Instagram to be TikTok. And reels isn't even as good as TikTok. No. I just want to post pictures of cats and get people to donate money. All right, let's uh, let's get the intro going because we have a lot. Tara, the last story this week. <laughs> You'll see. I'm I'm intrigued. Yo, oh, it's oh. All right, here we go. Each week. 
gather on the radio dead air audience, but the worldwide interwebs and all sorts of horrible shit. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck Fuck. This first story was floating around on the uh, the various social medias this week. It was this is sort of what I like to call the feel good story of the week. And um, if you are perhaps <clears throat> uh, lacking in schadenfreude, if you have a schadenfreude deficiency, uh, this one should pick you right up. Uh, authorities say New Jersey homeowner cut down 32 of his neighbor's trees. The cost could be huge. Now, this is just a wonderful story. Now, it's not... Cutting the trees down is not the wonderful part. We'll get to the wonderful part. So, here's my buttons. Here, here's one. The authorities say a property owner in Kennelton, uh, Kennelton, New Jersey, there you go, yeah, Kennelton, illegally cut down 32 large trees as they property, clearing the views on a property that real estate listings boast as an ideal location to. Watch the sunrise light up the New York City skyline like gold. Teleconference municipal court hearing on Tuesday for charges against Grant Haber drew so many people, the town prosecutor was initially unable to log on. Much of the attention appears to be fueled full guilt by a Twitter post been retweeted thousands of times. Um, Kinnelin Tree Removal Ordinance requires that anyone who illegally removes a tree to replace it with, quote, another of like or superior species. In Twitter posts, user Sam Glickman said he'd been told Haber had been quoted a $1.5 million cost to have a service road built to allow for tree replacements, then plant the new trees and water them for two years. Yeah, he cut down 32 trees. Initially, it's a fine of a thousand dollars per tree, right? So the guy who did this is like, oh, it only cost me thirty-two thousand dollars. That's fine. Uh huh. See what I did there? Except if you cut it down, you got to put it back, and you have to leave a way to get in it. So your thirty-two thousand dollar fine has now ballooned to one point five million. Why are they chanting tree law in the chat? I don't know. I don't. I don't. Is that a thing? I don't think. I don't know. I mean, I know that laws about trees are a thing, but apparently, it's a thing. It's 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 a meme that I am I am. I I watch tree law Twitter cover this lot. I okay. I don't know why. I I this is a thing. I mean, I assume everything has its niche on the internet. It does. Mostly porn. Oh, tree law is a big thing. Okay. Tree law is a Tumblr meme. Tree laws are a thing. There's a subreddit. Good God. It it just... Like, I'm aware that there are elaborate laws about what you can do with trees. I'm aware of the concept of tree law. I didn't know it was an internet thing. I should say. Oh, if you look in the meme channel on the Discord, there is a uh, comic there. Oh. So it's, 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 I'm just, I'm loving this motherfucker thought, well, it's illegal, but I'm rich so I can get away with it. You're not that rich, motherfucker. Suck on it. It feels good. Also, like, New Jersey doesn't need to smell any worse. Right? All right. And, and people, New Jersey needs all the fucking trees it can get. People are often like, oh, that's just a stereotype. That's not true. No, 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 no. I have driven through New Jersey. I have literally driven through the state of New Jersey. From New Jersey down south, from New York to New Jersey, yeah, it's it's the smell of train because I, yeah, the air was it changed. 
as we were on the road. And when we got out of Jersey, yeah. it stopped. Yeah. It's mostly North Jersey. Because I lived in Central Jersey, which is largely like farmland. But like Newark and Jersey City. Yeah, there's a smell. Uh, well, this next one, this is another, this is, we had some big shit this week. I have, this is a first. Holy crap, this guy. This is from France. And, uh, holy shit. We're involving military shit here now. You remember the shitty Matthew Broder Godzilla movie? Yeah. You know how everybody has random movie lines that nobody else remembers that they think are hilarious? One of mine is, where'd you find this guy? He's from France. Hey. Jean Reno is in it and plays like this. I don't even remember what his deal is, but he's like a super badass. The pilot of a private plane released packages of drugs over France while being chased by a Rafla fighter jet. On June 24th. Um, now it says 2024. It's, it means 2023. Um, uh, the sequence of events began when the passenger plane coming into Germany, uh, coming from Germany into France, was detected over restricted airspace, airspace near the Fessenheim nuclear plant. So we have a drug trafficker who is attempting to fly drugs into France under the radar and the first thing he fucking does is he strays into the airspace of a fucking nuke they don't like it when you do that no it, it it's yeah that that's that's one of those they get a little cranky um in response a little nervous the refre the french air force dispatched a rough the fighter jet uh to intercept and escort the flight now, that's got to be one of those moments when you look in your rearview mirror and there's a goddamn jet fighter following your ass. And I, I've been heard it talked about with, with Russia and Ukraine lately, that modern day jet fighting, it's not dogfight. It's not like, like, uh, like Top Gun and shit. If you see your opponent, you're already dead. That's how it yeah. they, 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 they destroy you so far out of range you don't even so that's probably just can fucking certing uh think about the shit we were able to do during desert storm and that was 30 years ago so during the pursuit the pilot made the decision to drop several packages from the aircraft he then landed at the uh albina uh albinus aerodrome i think I said that right located in lanas after threatening to kill the employees of the aerodrome, the pilot then fled the scene on foot, abandoning the aircraft. Uh, local law enforcement launched a uh, search operation with the support of the Gendarme National. Uh, in the evening, uh, the fugitive, identified as a Polish national with a history of narcotic smuggling, was apprehended in Orange, 60 kilometers southeast of the aerodrome. Authorities later discovered several packages containing, containing methamphetamines uh, dropped over the uh, the Arde Ardesh mountain region. Um, so this was sort of like meth from heaven. You have manna from heaven. You're up in the fucking mountains. You got nothing better to do. You're in a goddamn cabin. All of a sudden, in front of the sack. What? That's that's actually why Moses and his people wandered the desert for. <laughs> This is the best from heaven. It just all of a sudden it's like, boom! Here you go. How much of it did they not find? Yeah. And on the other, the other point is, this is literally how cocaine bears start. You have you have started cocaine bear two 
the meth year. Do they have bears in France? Yeah, I suppose they, they gotta have bears. Right? I mean, they don't gotta. I, I'm pretty sure they had bears in Europe before they they discovered America. They said different bears. They don't have all yeah, of I'm just saying, like, everywhere doesn't have bears. I'm... There's probably... Bears. Like, Ireland doesn't have bears. Well, Ireland's an island. I know, I'm just saying. Not every place has bears. Well, the, the bears... be looked, some other animal. The bears looked at Ireland and went, Oh, and I'm not putting that much effort for that, but no. Just stay Wow, rude. <laughs> Really? We do only have Wi-Fi in this place. Ireland has Wi-Fi? In most places. I didn't have Wi-Fi for the last four days. And I live in a major fucking city. Bears were in a Shakespeare play. All right, yeah, see? All right, so there's bears. There were bears in England. Because Shakespeare knew what the fuck a bear was. Exit chased by a bear. Not, bear. not every place has every kind of wildlife. That's all I'm saying. But okay. France has bears. Uh, let's move back over to Canada. And I thought you would have thought this would have ended. Like, you would have thought people had gotten the fucking message to quit it with this shit. They did not. And they picked the absolute worst time to start up again. Baldy Mountain residents help extinguish brush fire started by gender reveal. I am one. Members of the Strata Council for the village at Baldy Mountain Resort leapt into action to put out a brush fire near Jolly Lake Campground Sunday afternoon. Crash and Justin Lake going for a swim and some lady on a quad showed up and said there was a fire down the road. We all jumped on our quads and rushed over there, and sure enough, there was a big fire. Um, there was a group of people was conducting a gender reveal party using Tannerite. Spark blade. Wow! Tannerite is used in targets for firearms practice, and though it is designed to be flammable, its explosion can ignite flammable materials, like tinder dry undergrowth. Dan... If 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 my beloved Dan were here, the dissertation he could give you on the many use for Tannerite. Yeah. Thanks to his time in the army. So like I don't know a lot about Tannerite, but I know that the word really excited Dan, and that's enough for me to know that I don't want to fuck with it. We have just had over here on the eastern seaboard. Yeah. Days on end where the sky done turned colors. Yeah. Because fires in Canada burned everything. There's like scorched moose as far as the eye can see. And all that smoke came down here. I now live in a place with a fire season. Sometimes it snows, sometimes the leaves fall, sometimes there's fire. I, I, my entire life, I didn't know that could be a season. Well, but it is. I, I, you gotta have fucking mercy. We, you just get through that and you decide, hey, you know what we need to do? Let's go out in the woods and blow some shit up to show what, 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 uh, genitals our baby has. Also, what does that mean you're having in demon? <laughs> a balrog? Right? So are, you, are, you having, are you having a little balrog? Because those horns are going to hurt like a motherfucker coming out. I'm just letting you know. It's not going to be a fun You birth. shall not pass! Um. <laughs> like, no amount of Lamaze is taking care of that. <laughs> I just, I just, <laughs> fucking hell. I just, yeah, 
fortunately, people were there to like pitch in and stop it. Otherwise, this could have gone way. This could have been like another fucking cloud of goddamn evil smoke. Because you had the we bl- talked before about how stupid gender reveals are, and I honestly think the reason they took off so much it was it, it's another excuse to have people bring presents. Yeah, it makes sense. It's another party to make people come to bring a present to, but like gross. And also now the fine is going to outweigh however much you spent you got on presents. I guarantee you. Yeah. But like it started, it started out where like you cut a cake and if the cake was blue or pink. Right. Yes. And then it just, then it just snowballed. Which is still gross, but the cake is not going to kill anybody unless you really fucked it up. <laughs> well, we've got, uh, we, we're heading back to, uh, this is LA. This is, yeah, this is, we have more Florida. But that's not Florida. We have more Disney. Sorry. Think of Disney World. This is Disneyland. Disney. Um, it's the happiest place on earth. But uh, even then, they are not going to protect from law enforcement. Woman accused of trying to avoid arrest by hiding on Disneyland ride. Of this accused sneaking into Disneyland and attempting to evade police by hiding in an attraction last week. These officers, Anaheim Police Department, assisted the resort security team in apprehending the woman who was suspected of entering the park without paying. Spokesperson with the Anaheim Police Department told uh, XR's KTLA the unidentified woman entered the park by jumping over the turnstiles at the park entrance. You were, I am amazed you were not shot dead on sight for that. Yeah, I'm amazed to even manage to do that. They have a they have a crack squad of goofy. They're just yeah, they like will... I would think you immediately get tackled by two offensive linemen dressed like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. About seven p.m. on June seventeenth, one was arrested on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad traction based frontier link. One was arrested for a misdemeanor without incident. Case presented to the Anaheim City Att- Attorney's Office. Then decided the woman be charged with relation fines and possible jail time. And so she's trying for a misdemeanor. Yeah, you're trying to get away from the cops, so you decide your best way to escape is to get on a little train that goes in a big circle. Very slowly. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, you're on the run from the cops, so you decide to fuck with Disney. With Disney. Like, I think if we did not all already know, I think we have learned. Don't fuck with Disney. They, they, have, they are their own nation at this point. No, quite literally in They're Florida. Just... They, yeah. They're just the empire with a smile. Like the only like if you get real, if you get up real close to Mickey, like, like the only reason we're cheering on Disney in Florida is because DeSantis is just so much worse. We hate them both. It's it's like whoever whoever wins, we lose. But you know, just. I, I don't understand what over a misdemeanor over a misdemeanor like he, this that would have been what a, he would have been in jail maybe at night you get yeah. bail bailed out on five grand with like a five hundred dollar bond or some shit it doesn't seem worth it I I really need more people that wind up on the show to consider like did you just do a quick cost benefit analysis before you do shit. Is it worth it? No. Speaking of, is it worth it? No. Wow. Well, I will say this. This is from Liverpool. I will say this guy does not do shit halfway. 
At, l- at least he fucking commits. Man inhaling balloons found at wheel with 48,000 nitrous oxide canisters. That's a lot of women. And he has 48 tens. And that's terrible. Of thousands. <laughs> and has been jailed after he was spotting inhaling a blue balloon while driving up while driving by police officers. When Keaton Ulrod Beck, 25, was pulled over uh, by the unmarked police car, officers spotted a large quantity of spent nitrous oxide canisters, canisters littered throughout his vehicle. I had searched the vehicle and found a quantity of cannabis resin. Resin was estimated to have a street value of uh, 6,000 uh, pounds. And over at Beck was arrested at the scene. Later in the day, officers visited an address in a storage unit um, linked to Omar at Beck. There they found a package with two kilos of cocaine, thousands of pounds of cash. Thousands of pounds of cash. That's that's quite literal thousands of pounds. Now I don't know if they meant to say thousands of pounds as dollars, or if there was like yeah. a literal ton of cash there. No, because England is still on the pound, but and they never switched to the euro. But after watching Breaking Bad, I can't be sure. I'm pretty confident what they mean is like the English pound is drug paraphernalia and forty eight. Thousand nitrous oxide canisters with an estimated wholesale value of approximately 61,400 pounds. Uh, all right. I mean, at least I thought they were in the car with them. I mean, that would have been kind of impressive, wouldn't it? You, you have any idea why, you, why we pulled you over? No, I'll say I have no idea. <laughs> they thought they were the right to put me over, not the officer, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Was I spooling? Fucking hell. There's whippets also, and there's whippets. Also charged and concerned in the supply of ketamine, cocaine, cannabis, nitrous. That's a whole ass. That's a whole ass roller coaster for your brain. That's I, I, li, li, life is short. Go up the cocaine mountain, down the K hole. That's life is short. Just go, like go nuts. Like that's that much fucking nitrous. People in Chandler are going, uh, cause I'm a dentist and a success. No, not quite, quite like that. Just get whipped cream cans. You won't draw as much attention from the cops, right? I mean, if you have 48,000 whipped cream cans, though. Well, you could just say you're starting up, you know, a, a bakery or something. You're, 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 uh-huh. you're engaged with negotiations with Starbucks or something. I don't think they're going to buy it. That's just a lot of. God damn, son. That's, Although, just, that's just a lot of drugs. Although, to be fair, the idea of, like, all they'll see me do is inhaling a balloon. Who's going to pull me over for that? I mean, people are pretty savvy to that now, right? Yeah. Like, I knew about that shit in the early 2000s. Yeah. And I saw it when I went to a Dave Massey show that a skunk got loose in the <laughs> and said that out loud. <laughs> oh. Oh, we were such little <laughs> little little precious things back then. If I knew about the balloons, I feel like the cops probably do too. All right. This last one comes from Tyler. Those of you who are equipped with a penis 
I would like you to do one thing right now. Take your right leg, cross it up over your left. Going to make you a little more comfortable when you hear what's about to happen. Holy shit. Thai man gets ants in his pants in penis enlargement attempt. Thai man managed to make a prick of himself uh -huh. while resorting to a penis enlargement home remedy experiment. No, don't do that. Two videos went viral on Thai social media of the man penetrating an ant's nest with his organ in a bid to make his penis Bigger. How would that do that? Like you fuck an anthill and your dick gets bigger? That doesn't track. Video shows the Thai man withdrawing his penis from the ant's nest with dozens of insects feasting on the intruding member. Thai man is then seen struggling to brush the ants off his penis as he rinses with water. That is in his comment, the man intentionally exposed himself to ants' fights in an attempt to enlarge his penis. Uh, Dr. Uh, Sornai Ord Anwant, the beauty clinic in the northern province of Cheyenne Thai, uh, talked about the videos, revealed that it was true that when stimulated, the brain can trigger release of substances that cause the arteries of the genitals to expand leading to an enlargement effect. However, employing in the ant bites as a mean of stimulation was wrong and ineffective. You don't say, doctor! Also, temporary? Yeah. Like, what is it? Well, unless you're, unless you're gonna fuck an anthill every day. Like, what? what is it? Are you in the mood? Are you like, Hang on, honey. I'll be right back. I gotta go stick my dick in the fire ant mouth. Then we'll get it on. Gotta be honest, and maybe this is just me. Once you stick your dick in the fire ant mound, you're not sticking it in me. I just got this weird picture of like, wah, 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 wah. I've been really trapping. Ah, ah. Travel so long. Ah, God, ah. It's like, I don't want fire and venom there. That's the thing. It's not when, when ants bite you. I don't know how people don't get this. When you get bitten by fire ants, it's not just they inject venom in there. Like, I some people have not had fire ant bites because they haven't been part of the country to have them. They leave these little fucking blistered boils on. Yeah, it's a little like it's like little tiny pimple things. But what happens is that's that it's been it's like a chemical burn kind of thing. And like blister covered dicks are not really right. Sexy. Uh, I know everybody's got their something. I know there's probably a Pornhub channel specifically for that. I'm talking in general. Most people are not looking for the boils and sores part of the Bible. Just Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking mighty. Yeah, they do. They hurt. Yes, they, they actually they fucking hurt. <laughs> I like. But like, is there an Ant Man porn parody? I God hope not. But they're probably because there's the Guardians of the Galaxy one. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've seen it. But this feels like it would lend itself really well to the Ant Man porn parody. It, there actually is. Like the scene where he wakes up in Hank Pym's house and the the ants are all around him and they're like, they're blah, 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 blah. 6.7 on the Schmidt pain scale. Now, 
Now, there, there actually is. I read about this. I forget. I think it was an Atlantic article. There is a, an operation. There's a doctor, a couple doctors in California now, that will do a penis enlargement surgery, and it's experimental, potentially dangerous, but it's there, and that's that's like actual doctors under medical supervision to do that which is not just sticking your dick in a, in a bunch of bugs but also guys it's probably fine yeah it's probably fine like i everybody makes the joke about the small dick but you're probably worrying about it way more out of proportion than anybody else is Just like learn, learn for play. No one thinks about your dick as much as you. No. That that is the first lesson every man must learn. No one is as concerned about your penis as you are. Everyone who's born with one, not just men, but if you're born with one, no one's as concerned about that shit as you are. Yeah. And like, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Just learn how to Either way, no matter no matter what you're packing, learn how to do some other stuff. Yeah, if the alternative that's more important. That's what we learned tonight. If the alternative is to stick your dick in a fire ant mound, just learn how to lingus, man. There are videos. Even if it's not, even if it's not, even if you're packing star dick, just learn how to do a couple that's true. other things. Yes, yeah, it's, it's true. It's never gonna hurt. Uh, and don't there's no good reason to fucking ant hell there's no good um we've learned that no no you're not being subtle the cops are onto that balloon shit yeah um we've learned that if you're attempting to escape law enforcement going 15 miles in a, a per hour in a circle Ain't, ain't it. <laughs> You're looking at the channel right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. See, now personally, I would have gone with activate instant kill. Yeah. <laughs> From Endgame. That's the gift I would have chosen, but that's just me. We learned if you're so concerned with getting extra gifts because of your baby that you're exploding fucking tannerite in the woods, it's a fair bet you're not going to make as much on those gifts as you are going to get fines. And also, by the way, like, I know this is going to piss some people off because I am not somebody who has children. It's not. It, you haven't really accomplish something that hasn't been done yeah god you say that like i know that to you your child will be the most precious wonderful thing to ever breathe the earth and that's great but it, it, it's it's not new science you, you say that and you haven't discovered human reproduction like it's been done you say that, but right now, somewhere there's a couple watching Oppenheimer, and one looks at the other and goes, Honey, I just had. Like, it's the same thing with weddings. Like, you haven't invented getting married. Like, it's not, it doesn't need to be. Like, people, people do that shit all the time. It, it, it's special to you, and that's great. It should be, but like, damn. We've, we've, uh... We've learned that if you are attempting to smuggle methamphetamine across international borders, maybe try to avoid Chernobyl. Yeah, avoid the nuclear goddamn reactor. Yeah. I mean, if you want to look back at where this all went wrong, flying over the nuclear reactor was probably, yeah, that that's the minute. Yeah. Finally, we've learned... Uh, I know, Kurt. Okay. The the old adage that uh, if the the punishment for a crime is a fine and not prison, then it's legal for the rich. 
just better be sure what that fine actually is before you pull out your fucking chainsaw. Yeah. Because, uh... Make sure you've done the math correctly. Yeah. You might be rich, but you ain't that rich. <laughs> <laughs>